We love welcoming Chef Ned Bell to the show. Welcome back. Good morning. Yeah, How good are morning you? Good morning, too. We're yeah. doing well, and we're going to dig into some uh, delicious tacos here this morning. You're going to make your famous crab tacos, Dungeness crab tacos. This is your That's signature right. dish. Well, it's funny, actually. It, was, it reminds me of, of when I used to live in Calgary years ago. I had a tuna taco at Murrieta's, yeah. and then we, we, the, the taco evolved to a rotisserie chicken taco at Redwater Grill. And now I have a seafood restaurant in Vancouver at the Four Seasons Hotel. Uh, it's called U Seafood and Bar. And now it's a Dungeness Crab Taco. And it is by far the number one selling appetizer at yeah. actually at all three of those restaurants when I was there. Maybe I'm just the taco guy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the taco game has really elevated in the last few years. Well, yeah, absolutely it has. And the neat thing about these tacos is they're actually made with a hard shell. So what, why people love them is they're, it's a wonton shell, so it's crispy yep. and it's individual and it's super easy to, um, to eat. And of course, it has what are your favorite things about tacos? You know, it's a little bit spicy and avocado. Av avocado. Yeah. Exactly. So we have some avocado. And the trick is with a great taco recipe is the crab is the star, okay. right? So the Dungeness crab, we, this was in the ocean yesterday in Vancouver, and I brought it with me. Beautiful. As I, right? It's just spectacular. But we have little bit of avocado. We have some uh, lemon and some lime. Oops. Sorry. You're so, creating uh, a piece of art. I just got in the way. Okay. No, you didn't get in the way at all. So, of course, guacamole or avocado could, could have, have cilantro, could have red onion, could have whatever. Yeah. But I just like the avocado to be sort of naked Star. with a, yeah, with a little bit of um, citrus and a little bit of, uh, of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. You so actually you, need, when you say citrus, did you go lime and lemon in there? I did. I added lemon and lime because I just love the contrast of both of those uh, flavors. Okay. What and kind you, of ratio are we talking? I'm making 50, notes. 50-50. 50-50. Got it. I mean, of course, the most important thing when you're cooking is taste. You've yeah. got to taste your food. If you don't taste your food, you don't know if it's going to taste any good. Right. And then, of course, you, you, know, you can't feed your friends if it doesn't taste delicious, exactly. right? Exactly. But the star is the crab. And citrus in seafood is really what picks the flavors up. So, yeah. you know, when you pull a piece of salmon or halibut out of the oven and you squeeze, lemon I know butter's your favorite ingredient, butter, yeah, but yeah. butter and lemon on top, that acidity, that brightness really brings up the richness of the seafood. So from that point, then we have a, really, a really quick vinaigrette. So uh, because, the, again, the crab is the star, I don't want to use uh, olive oil. I want to use canola oil or veg oil because it's a neutral flavor. Okay. We have a little bit of Dijon mustard. We have a little bit of the star ingredient, yeah, miso paste. Mm -hmm. So miso paste, uh, it's soybean paste, mm -hmm. and it's, it's, it's got that classic umami flavor. So that really rich, big, bold, salty, um, deep flavor, but it's not adding a ton of calories. And of course, ah. vinaigrettes are a great way to add flavor to recipes where you don't have to add a lot. And if you make a fairly intense um, flavor profile vinaigrette, then it, it really... Okay, and what what just happened here? You know what, I, I, I totally added an ingredient, but you are on it. I, I, I wanted to add a little, make it a little bit spicy. This is called togarashi. So it is Japanese uh, chili pepper. Yeah. It's got some black sesame. It's got some nori seaweed in there. So they traditionally garnish their broths and their soups with this. But I love it because it adds a little bit of delicate heat. Mm. And it's got some orange peel in there. So again, more and more citrus. Wow. And then to build your taco, you take, I think, uh, the magic number for an appetizer of these tacos anyway, is I, three? Think, I think is three. But the, the real trick with these tacos is you want to get as much. I know how much you love cleaning crab, right? You talked about, <laughs> you talked about that, how. There's a lot of hoop jumping when it comes. Crab is delicious, but wouldn't you agree? Well, crab and lobster, I mean, whether it's a crab bake or a lobster bake, certainly in the summertime, you know, you want to pour your, your shellfish in the middle of the table and let people have at it with It can be a little wild. It's a little wild, but of course, this is what apprentices are for, Joe, right? right? You, right. Apprentices or sous chefs, give them a glass of wine, tell them to get to work. Sure. Or, right? a, or a beer if you're Andrew Schultz. Or a beer if you're Andrew Schultz. And what a nice hose that he was carrying <laughs> down the street. <laughs> Those I guys know. are huge, Andrew. It was, it was really impressive. You, you well, did part, well. Parts did. of it were impressive. Right. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, okay, we're going to continue to plate this. There's an event taking place tonight, which is what brings you to town. There is. So uh, years ago when I lived in Calgary, I had uh, a hand in opening a restaurant concept called the Redwater Grill. Yeah. There's four of them, and tonight we're doing this awesome event with uh, their executive chef, Chef Dun Duncan Lee. 
And it's so at that talented. Aspen location. Duncan's a ninja and just a fantastic guy. And so at the uh, Aspen location, tickets are still available if you want them to come up. All four of the chefs from the Red Waters are going to be doing their signature dishes. It's a dishes. reunion. It's a total chef collaboration, chef reunion. And this is the dish that I am doing. My Dungeness crab. That is gorgeous. Tacos, little bit of citrus, right? Some more lemon lime. Look at that. There you go. And that's not, not the that normal is a thing of beauty, crab my friends. recipe or crab taco recipe. Right? No, not at all. That would certainly not Bam. be what it would look like <laughs> in my house. But in your house, this is what it looks like. Wow, that is beautiful. Thank you so much, Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jill. Yeah.